Motionless in white. And I'm now joined by their front man, Chris, who's in Ohio. How you doing? I'm great. I'm uh, working on new music. So as long as I'm staying busy, I'm happy. That's all I can want in life. Just music, music, busy, busy, busy. And you're, are you in Cleveland, did you say? Yeah, I have a, a friend out here named John that I work with. Uh, I worked with him on our last record for the first time, and uh, we really connected and wrote some great stuff together. So trying to make use of the time and drove all the way out here since I don't want to get on a plane and it was actually quite a nice, relaxing drive. Five hours of nothing but me and my thoughts. Oh, my God. Can, yeah. when, when you're driving, do you like to listen to music? I, I do half and half. I, uh, I kind of just, if I'm in a music mode, I'll put kind of relaxing stuff on while I drive because it just helps me kind of appreciate it a little bit more. Okay. So what kind of chilled stuff would you listen to then? Oh, man. Uh, XM Radio has a channel that's just called Spa. That's amazing. That like atmospherical running water, just Peruvian pan flute stuff or there's all that all that stuff that you would go to if you were getting a massage. It's so relaxing and just helps kind of free your mind and open your mind a little bit. I love uh, relaxing. I feel like to balance out how intense I feel like I can get with work related stuff or wanting to stay busy and constantly moving there comes those times where I have to do the opposite and relax. And when I do, I go all in. It has to be like, you know, cucumber eye things, mud masks, just massages, spa, steam room. It's got to be the whole, the whole thing. I mean, I'm not knocking it because I hear you because I'm exactly the same. Like, I love all that stuff. So, so no, yeah, I'm with you on that. You get it. You get yeah. me. I completely get you on that one. And how are you finding it not wearing any makeup? I bet you're loving the break, aren't you? Uh, it is wonderful. Yeah. I, I've been trying to re, restart my skin and just, well, kind of take control of my health in general a little bit more now that we're off tour and I have the ability to cook at home more. And uh, just my, all of my daily routines can be greater than they are on tour. Um, and then not wearing makeup has absolutely helped my skin just kind of restore and get a break. And I, I hear that it celebrates weekly that it hasn't had to wear makeup on it. So I'm very happy about that. So I can't believe that we're talking about makeup and spa and, and the health. This is something I never imagined we'd be talking about right now. But anyway, getting back to the music, you mentioned that you're obviously making new music. Is it with Motionless in White or is it something mm -hmm. else or...? Yeah, we, uh, we were not actually going to start until maybe the end of summer. Um, we wanted to take this uh, all the way up until the summer and just kind of kind of plan and maybe if we felt inspired, work on some stuff here and there, but we didn't want to hit it like full time until after summer. But now because of everything being shut down, it's kind of just like, well, why would we waste the time and we could, you know, maybe put a record out sooner and make up for the loss of all the touring and um, everyone's kind of just been working at their own pace, which has been really nice because normally we start and have a deadline for ourselves in a, in a way where we know that we're going to start in the studio at a certain, certain point. Now it's just like, we're just going to work and, until we're happy and use the time and make the best you know, record we can and find a silver lining in all of this, you know? Your last album was really well received. Um, do you, how are you going to top that? Is it going to be... <laughs> Because you're constantly evolving as a band with your sound, I think. So I think, you know, how, right. how are you gonna how are you gonna take it to the next level? Oh man, we need, we need a trigger warning to pop up on screen because now my anxiety is racing. How are we gonna top it? Oh god, um, I don't I don't know because you know every time a band puts out a record, I mean I've never once heard a band put out a record and be like, yeah, our last one was better than this one. Uh, <laughs> I think most bands agree what they're doing currently is is the best, and I think when I go back and listen to our previous records and then listen to this one, while I of course agree that it's better, I think it's a lot better. It's the, it's, there's just something to it that is in every way, the whole package is just dominates the rest of them. And I think the best thing that we can do is go into it with the same mindset that we had with the last one with disguise and maybe just approach it the same way since we're so happy with how it came out. Um, not trying to reinvent our process at all and mm -hmm. just see what happens. Um, that's kind of what we've been doing and I like everything that we're accomplishing so far.
Okay, so why was it better, do you think? Was it like more of a connection with, with what you were writing about? Or? Yeah, I, th I think the, lyric, the lyrical content was um, the best that it's ever been in that I, I treated that more seriously on this record than ever before. And I put that at the forefront of everything involved in the writing. Um, that's kind of always been not an afterthought, but something that was always kind of just in the mix of working on a record like, Oh, the lyrics will come and they'll be, they'll be what they are. This record was just like, no, these have to be absolutely perfect. I spent the most time on the lyrics. The singing has improved. Uh, I, I think the music's been in a great spot for a while, but the music or the lyrics and the singing have been need, needed to needed to improve. And I think that that's the shining moment on this record is having focused on those and giving the the band a whole package as a record that just felt so much more mature and professional than all the previous works. Oh, well, thank you so much for taking the time to chat to me, Chris. It's been great hearing about all your stories and stuff. So um, take care of yourself. Thank you. Thanks.